Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our outputs in our Tuner Studio software. So when we want to control a secondary device or an auxiliary device, such as a radiator fan or a secondary fuel pump, we're going to be using these outputs to turn on that device. And we have to have some programming logic so we have that particular output turn on the device that we want based on conditions that we want. So for example, on a radiator fan, we want to turn that on based on coolant temperature. That makes sense. So I'm going to be showing you what you need to know in order to program your outputs so that we have our programming conditions correct, and then we can check the status if the output is actually active or not. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at how to work with and set up an output to control a secondary device. So if we're trying to control maybe a secondary fuel pump or a secondary radiator fan, or even to control something like a shift light, we're going to be finding it's a pretty straightforward process using our Tuner Studio software. So the very first thing we need to do is to jump up here into Boost Advanced we click on this and move down to the bottom of our list and we can see we have programmable on off outputs. So if we click this, we're going to be finding we have a list of available pins that we can use to control an auxiliary device. Now the very first thing that I wanted to point out here is that any of these pins that we're going to be using to control a device, these are all going to be sending a ground output signal. So if we're trying to control a fuel pump, we're going to be having to use a relay between our output pin and then the actual device we're trying to control, which would be the fuel pump. So the output pin here is going to be grounding the relay. The relay would then go in and power on the fuel pump. So I wanted to mention that there's not enough sinking amperage here to uh, use this to turn on a device. So let's say we were trying to turn on a radiator fan and we were simply providing power to the fan and we were expecting our pin here to be able to ground out the circuit and turn the fan on. We're going to be frying our micro squirt or mega squirt box. There is not enough amperage sync with an output here. So we must use a relay if we're going to be pulling much more than about 500 milliamps, which is pretty small, about a half 